morning guys, welcome back to Let's Mess Around on Mega Man X. We are down to two Mavericks, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. The reason I was on Sin Chameleon was because I could get the hearts in his stage after getting launched Octopus. Uh, since Boomer Kuangers, or Kuanger, or Kuanker, or whatever the hell you want to call him, his stage is a bit of a tower, so I went with something that, it, that went along with rising high up into the sky. And for that, I went with the Stage 1 theme of Undefined Fantastic Object, called At the End of Spring. So let's get in there, let's mess around. Now practice on this went pretty well. This song ended right as I beat him. So let's see if I can do that again. Yeah, this stage is a little slower than the others simply because of all the climbing you have to do. And if you keep getting hit, that slows you down immensely. But it's not that bad. These guys just fire above them and scoop right into the shot. Now, Rolling Shield comes in very handy at this level. I had to charge it up enough. Security lasers are more of an annoyance than anything. Well, actually, pretty much everything in this stage is more of an annoyance than difficult. No, 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 no. X-Buster, X-Buster. Yeah, one fully charged shot takes these guys down. No, almost. Not quite even with a dash shot. Now bring up the rolling shield in here. This, this second half of the level is pretty much cake. It'll take out all these guys in one hit, not destroy the shield. So you can just avoid having to deal with uh, like ceilings that are instant death, by the way. But far more merciful on this game than Dragon Man Stage in Mega Man 5. And just keep going. A few platforms here. The turrets and the little bugs on the ladders here also get taken down with the rolling shield. Slightly tricky, not, not that bad. This is uh, one of the last cards, which you can't get until we get the weapon from the stage. This is probably the most annoying part of the stage. Again, not difficult. More tricky than hard. You have to take out all the turrets on these platforms and find them. But the worst is still yet to come. We've got more of these wall climbing turrets. And right here, just because of the unpredictable nature of the platforms, you don't quite know when they're going to start or more, more stop and start. But, oh, that one. Ah. I just climb the wall. <laughs> and I go first. Okay, Boomer and Kowanker, 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 Kowanker. His weakness is homing torpedo. And he's not that bad. He just moves around a lot. So we'll stay one step ahead of him. Firing. You'll wear him down faster than you wear you down. Especially if you say you hug the wall. He'll throw his boomerang cutter at you. But uh, not hard to dodge. Especially if you go back and forth. Now he does have a kind of a grab and throw you move like Buzzy from Kirby. Not that bad. And he's down already. Nice high paced fight. The song's about over. That timing was perfect. That was just beautiful. I'm keeping this take. <laughs> so with that, we have a Boomer K's weapon. I'll just call him that from now on. <laughs> the Boomerang Cutter. And with that, we can get that last heart in the sub-tank that's in Spark Mandrill stage. So I will get those and get ready to do Stink Chameleon stage. Find a song for it, of course. I'll be recording part three of Return of Toho Mother later today. 
as long as one other project with if, uh, with the Super LP Heroes group, just uh, one, one of the members from that. He doesn't really have a group channel. But I'll be recording that, linking that on my playlist. I'm Gunnar Dine. Call me Dine. You guys take care. And if life is giving you a hard day, don't be afraid to eat your pudding with a fork. Enjoy the third day of your three-day weekend if you're an American. Take care.